Hello viewers, welcome to the section Monitoring using Event Management. In this section we will learn about setting and configuring event management, event sources and properties setup, configuring a connector instance, event mapping rules and filters, and creating event field mappings. Now we move on to the video Setting and Configuring Event Management. In this video we will activate the Event Management plugin from the Personal Developer instance. Before we configure event management, we will first know the basics of event management. Event management is the process that monitors all events that occur through the IT infrastructure. It allows for normal operation and also detects and escalates exception conditions. An event can be defined as any occurrence that has significance for the management of the IT infrastructure or the delivery of IT service and evaluation of the impact a deviation might cause to the services. Events are typically notifications created by an IT service, configuration item or monitoring tool. There are some important steps that are used to configure and set up the event management application. Events are generated by various infrastructure components and monitoring software. Connectors, definitions or instances are used to connect various events monitoring software. Event rules, how to handle the events that are generated. Event field mappings. Mapping values or fields generated by the different event sources and the mapping to the ServiceNow event fields. Alert correlation rules. When to generate alerts and how to consolidate them. Alert remediation. Action that needs to be taken on the alerts generated. Dashboards. Overview of all the alerts generated. Users are able to take appropriate remediation actions from the dashboards. Let's see how to activate the event management plugin from the personal developer instance. On the instance, you will need to click Action and click on Activate Plugin. A list of plugins will be available. Search for Event Management and then click on Activate. You have the choice to activate plugin only or include demo data. You will see the status of the plugin that is being activated. Once activated, you will see a completion message or you will be notified by an email when the plugin has been successfully activated, as shown here. In this video we learn to set up and configure event management.